Hello everybody, Jim here. Well, it's time for a Sure Trek trailer update. We got this from Chuck's Custom in Medina. There's their, if you need the column, it's right there. Uh, it's a nice trailer, it's real thick, it's about six inches thick. Beams in it, all the way back. I like this. I like the chains where they're up in the air and the hook on the side here welded on the frame to get the wires up. Sure truck, that's a great idea. I wish everybody would do that. But uh, I only had, well, well, been 39, almost 40 years being in business. This is my uh, third, fourth trailer. So we don't go through too, too many trailers. Got the lock on the front. This lock here is the same thing what the dealer uses. And um, they told me that nobody can break it. You might think so, but they said you can't. So I'm only going by what dealer says. And we'll just leave it at that. Issue number one. For some odd reason, we had a bolt that came out. I don't know why. All the other ones are there. But that one bolt, well, it's a tap screw, came out. It's not leaking inside as far as I know. Showed it to the dealer. Oh, well, that's about it. So, only thing they said put another screw in. So I haven't even got up there to check it out yet. Um, not saying anything bad about the dealer. He's a nice guy. Issue number two. Front tires look pretty good. Back tires are getting pretty bold. Why? As you see in the front tires, there's not a whole lot of tread there. And there's not a whole bunch there at all. So I guess I gotta buy all new tires. So I gotta spend about 500 bucks for good tires to be replaced on here. But they put cheap tires on these things. And as you see, she's bald in the back back there. Whew, I don't know why. But it's a sure truck trailer. Issue number three we had. What, Whitey? You always want to get my videos now. This here was coming off, and it's stripped way down here. And we also had it coming apart down here, too. Stripping way down through here. I made a video of that, and sure truck contacted me, and said take it to the dealer. Well, by the time they contacted me, I bought some Gorilla Glue, and I glued it back on there. We also had a little bit on this corner here, too, but Gorilla Glue is holding everything together. That's about the three issues I have. Ooh, that sounds bright today. And get my darn thumb out of the way. We, uh, you know, you see what we put on the walls of this trailer. This is basic stuff. Everything's here. Uh, got the broom on board. <laughs> we don't use it. Mower on here. Same as the 160. Uh, we're putting the gas cans in here instead of putting up in a loft. I'm going to start all these up today since it's nice and warm out. Get everything lubricated. Everything's got sea foam in it. Um, oh, issue number four. We had, and it's doing it again, look at that. It's doing it again. That thing there, crossing itself. Huh, I didn't notice that. But yeah, that's issue number four. You can see that right there. Is the other side doing it? Nope. The other side's fine. Didn't really notice it. Spiders. Really never noticed that. So I guess I'll have to figure that out. But yeah, it crossed over again. So does that mean that that uh, bottom hub is bad? 
I don't know. Guess I'll take it back to the dealer and see what they say, but... Yeah, I didn't know it was doing that again. It did it once. Now it did it a second time. Also, I wish they would have put the channel thing in here. Because it gets a lot of crap in there. And I was told by other people, Oh, we can't take a blower to it? Yeah, but I spent over $7,000 for this trailer. I would think that uh, they would have a cover, but if you get the expensive trailers, they, they come with it. So I had to ask the dealer how much they want for that, but I just keep on going. As you can see, all those are greased. Grease coming out of the sides and everything. So, not saying it's a bad trailer. In my, in my opinion, it's a great trailer. Uh, just about four issues that came up within the uh, first few months of having this trailer. But uh, I bought trailers in the past before, and I never had tires wear down so fast. But it's a good trailer. Everything's holding together. But I just don't like tires. Now, see, this tire here don't look like it's that bad. And yes, I know, when you back up in driveways, especially concrete ones, that tires wear out. Well, here's the kicker. I only back up in one concrete driveway. My driveway here is gravel. I don't think gravel should do that too much to a tire. No front tire and this one ain't too bad either. But, uh, yeah. I like the door. Get my darn thumb out of the way. Some, you know, door's nice. Got a couple gouges in it. Had a couple guys that I hired. And they did this and did that. Eh, they, I don't know how I did this here. But it's only an aluminum minimum trailer. Got another gouge right here. I have hit it now and then myself. Trying to get in and out of equipment and that. One thing I should ask, Sir Trek, how come you guys never put a spring on these doors? Wouldn't it be nice to put a spring on this? But I do grab a trimmer from out here, bring it out. But probably where that, that's come from because I hit stuff and everything. But all in all, I'll give the trailer about an eight. Just a little stuff that came up but you see how I got things hung up in here but yeah I'll give them an eight uh, I would buy another one down the road but I really want to get a uh, get a box truck be a lot shorter than a trailer and truck but don't have eighty thousand dollars so Got to deal with what you get, uh, what you can afford, right? So, and, and the egos, blowers and trimmers are great, no issues at all. But this is about the Sure Truck trailer. We'll do other product reviews later. Green Works Pro. All right, neighbors, leave me a comment. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and let me know what you think. Okie dokie, neighbors have a great day. Wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, if I don't make any more videos. I don't know if I'll be on a, be on a stream tonight or not. I thought about it, but I think with the 23rd and 24th coming up, everybody else is going to be coming on, and I see a lot of people coming on. So, yep, this is December 23rd, 2019. Almost gone. All right, neighbors, like I said, you have a great one. You have a good day. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a good one. Bye bye. Well, Let's go see if we can find a bolt for self-tapper for this. I got them. But I think the head 
popped off. I'm not too sure. Have to check it out later.